Good morning. It's a beautiful Memorial Day for a run. Uh, sun is out. Doesn't get better. It's a nice cool breeze. Not too hot, but it's getting warmer. Uh, obviously recovering from COVID. I'm feeling good right now. I'm jogging 113. This is where I was walking slowly, very slowly, just a day or two ago. And now I'm able to jog very slowly at around the same heartbeat rate 111 it's staying right in that area it's pretty nice uh, obviously I'm not going to do the Memorial Day run because I want to race it that's last year's t-shirt Yeah, so I'm out at the high school track. Make sure I can control my heartbeat. It's nice and flat, obviously. You don't get to go any hills. I don't have to worry about controlling in hills. 110. Like 19 minute pace. This is super slow, obviously. Lots of people walk faster than this. I can walk faster than this. That's not the point. The point is getting back out gently, getting blood to flow out of my body, through my body, and moving uh, any residual stuff from the virus through so my body can take care of it. Very gentle. So my experience with uh, Memorial Day, obviously my brother, my big brother Joe, was in uh, the Navy. Uh, and then after college I played uh, music, right? played with a jazz group actually, Ray Ryan jazz group that also had a parade group to do New Orleans style parading. And we played every Memorial Day. So 2000 to 2011, I would have played with that group in a town called Swickley outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, they had a big Memorial Day celebration. We'd stay by and play some uh, things after the parade as well. Uh, while the uh, soldiers of all ages, but especially elderly soldiers, raised the flag, uh, shot off some guns, remembered uh, their lost friends. Yeah, and when I came back to uh, came back to Central PA, moved to State College in 2011. Uh, I haven't really played with any groups that play Memorial Day, but the last two years I've run this Memorial Day. Uh, run which is 3.8 miles in Bullsburg which is the founding town of Memorial Day where just after the Civil War uh, women who had lost their husbands would go and decorate the graves of their fallen soldiers. This year obviously I'm not able to run it but I'm there in mind and spirit. So Joe was troubled before he ever entered the Navy. Uh, in fact, a judge gave him the option of joining a military branch or serving prison time when he was 18 and just finished high school. And so he chose the Navy as a way to try to reform his life. And he spent a lot of time trying to reform, trying to get better fighting uh, mental health issues that he struggled with, with depression and anger, anxiety, all of these things that run pretty uh, rampant in my family. Um, yeah, and especially uh, opioid abuse um, and other things like that, that he suffered with. And he was in uh, the service and actually was in a uh, 
unofficial confrontation, I guess, in Colombia that wasn't a war, you know. And so when he left the uh, military, he uh, didn't really have services or see himself as having the option for services that might have helped him. Um, and services he did get in prison were not helpful. And so he spent some time in prison, then worked, uh, having fallen in love with ships, right? Worked in commercial fishing, and then on beaches throughout his life. Spent some more time in prison, went back to work. Always uh, described by his employers as a hard worker, and there was a spark of light in him, even through all the bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, he was rough around the edges at my wedding, which I had him in my wedding party. He did uh, threaten uh, one of my friends, <laughs> who is absolutely not a fighter, and threatened the uh, photographer. You know, this was uh, Joe's nature. He had to fight these type of things his whole life. <sighs> yeah. So, I don't know, I think it's important that if you have a soldier in your life, someone who fought and uh, has mental health issues, even if they're found to have started before their time in the military, they can be exacerbated by those experiences, um, which are very tough. Uh, get help. I'm leaving an address at the end of this video, right? That you can pause on look up and they help regardless of why you're dismissed from the military if you need help seek it out over two miles feeling not bad uh, you know moving the body healing up taking it very gentle not pushing myself trusting in God and doing my best <laughs> 